was so excited to find this. Ayo. Ayo. All right guys, so I thought I'd do a little bit different video. I did this around Thanksgiving, and since it's Vlogmas, I thought I would share with you my Christmas decor haul for this year. So a few of the items you saw that we picked up for the new trees, we did the tree decorating of two new trees out in our living room and our foyer. So if you haven't seen those videos, they're in our Vlogmas videos, check them out. But welcome to Vlogmas. Christmas decor haul. So I'm gonna show you some of the items that I picked up. They were all very inexpensive. Um, I shopped at the dollar stores and I also shopped at thrift stores, but I'm really excited because the stuff I picked up is super cute. It's things I've been looking for and I saved a ton of money doing it. This way. All right, so the first thing that I picked up, these items are from the Dollar Tree. And so I picked up this red like Christmassy vase and then these flowers up here. Now Ireland already put this together and it's kind of becoming a Christmas tradition this year or actually just a holiday tradition that Ireland is putting together our bouquets for our centerpiece on our table, which is kind of cool. So I just pick her up a new vase to match the season and then some Dollar Tree flowers and they, I think it turned out really pretty. I think she did a really good job. So once this is all done and put together, of course, we'll do the Christmas house tour but this I thought was super pretty and I think she did a great job. All right, so these were also my Dollar Tree find and I got two of them. These will go, I'm not sure what table I'm gonna put them on yet, but I think you can see that. Let's see if I can get it to, there we go. See, it changes colors. It's kind of hard to see in the light. So when it's darker, I'll show these to you. But they changed to different colors, blue, red, green, and I just thought they were super pretty. They're really glittery and just something simple and cheap to add to the table that'll give it a little bit of a Christmas pop. All right, my last items that I found at the dollar store were these. So these are actually gonna go up on the fish tank and they're just blingy, they've got reds and golds in them. They only had two. If they'd had four, I would've bought them because I actually wanted some for the dining room table, but they're gonna be a cute addition and help just like sparkle it up a little bit. Cause I like sparkle at the holidays, you guys, especially Christmas. All right, so my next finds all came from, actually, no, this one didn't. This one came from Walmart. So this is what I found. And I don't know if you can see, but it's completely glittery. It's got the reds and the golds. And I really love these tones at Christmas. I love the snowy whites with sparkles but I really love the greens and the reds and the golds. So I was pretty excited to find this piece and I love to have these for like on top of my fish tanks, on top of the frog tank, just to give it a little bit of flair, give it a little bit of decoration and just duck it up for the holidays. So I thought this was really pretty. This I got at Walmart and I think this piece was about $4. All right, so these items were actually my Dollar General find. And I don't know if you have a dollar general in your area, but not everything at those stores is a dollar, but they're all super low priced. And I just fell in love with these. I bought two of them and look at, they're like, I don't know if I can get it to foot there. They're like crackled glass and they've got the poinsettia, they've got the golds and the greens and the reds. So I really loved these and I actually wanted to get two more. There's several Dollar Generals. There's one in our area and then there's several in Dubuque. So I'm gonna check the stores because I actually want two more of these. And they only had three and I just couldn't bring myself to buy the item. All right, so the rest of the items that I found were all thrift store items. So check this out. I have been looking for something to put my plastic silverware in for the holidays and I just thought this was so pretty. It needs cleaned up a little because I think they put like some floral decor in it but I'm gonna wash this up and it's look at that isn't that pretty and I just thought this would be super pretty to bring out the plastic fork set it on the table. It's porcelain and it's got the little snowmen and stuff so and it was in great shape. I mean it's a little bit you know it needs a little cleaning to it and stuff but other than that, all of it was in really good shape, I think. So I was really happy about this handled find. I had looked at several wicker baskets and 
all of them that I found, I was just like, I don't know, they were either a little tore up or they were more expensive than I wanted to spend on holiday decor. I think I was able to get this for like two bucks and this is way better than a wicker basket for two bucks. The next holiday decor item that I found, I am in love with this. So I've been looking for little pieces to put around the living room, like on my entertainment center, on um, like on my coffee table, stuff like that. And this, I was so excited about, look at that. So it's a little old fashioned Christmas tree. It's got like the little gates around it and the candles. Now one of these fell off, but it's got the spot so I can glue it back on. But I was really excited about this piece. And of course, it's the greens and reds and golds that I love so much at Christmas time. The next piece is I was really excited about because these are also for my decor. And I have been looking for a holiday train set but I didn't want anything really big. I actually wanted to be able to set this on the entertainment center and just kind of decorate it up. I want to add Christmas buildings to that, little Christmas people, but I wanted to stick to those reds and greens and golds and I found these pieces. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So this is a three-part train and then it has this piece and they interlock with each other, which I think is so cool. And then, of course, the caboose. Isn't that neat? So I just thought this was so beautiful and it's perfect, it's simple, doesn't have a lot of ornate detailing on it, but it has just enough that you know it's Christmas. So, And I thought that would go really good with things like these. So I think that'll be a nice fit together. I told you that I'm also looking for seasonal dishes and I didn't care if they really went completely together just as long as they were Christmas themed and they kind of fit together but I don't mind having that eclectic feel. But I've been wanting to do by the season bringing out different nice dishes for the kids to use. But Glass glasses are another issue. They get broken very easily in my house. So I was looking for a plastic set of dishes for the kids and I was able to find some cups for them. So I got these for 50 cents a piece. Let me pull them apart. They're really thick, sturdy plastic and they have the Christmas poinsettias all over them. And they've got the greens and the golds and the reds. I was able to get um, eight of these tall ones and then I got the tumbler size as well so I was able to get eight of the tumbler size. I had found some Christmas dishes already at the thrift store and I remember seeing these several years ago at Yonkers probably when Matt and I had been married for I don't know maybe five years and I really wanted them but the set was super expensive at the time. So when I went to the thrift store the other day I already had four of those bowls and then I have like four snowman ones, I was able to find more pieces to the Christmas set that I've liked a lot. So check this out, I found four more cups. So now I have four of the snowman that match the bowls and the plates and then four of the coffee cups that are snowman and then four of the Christmas the Christmas tree set. So I was really excited. So we have some smaller size that we used the other day that are more like kid size with the snowman, snowman on them and then we have the Christmas tree ones that are more adult size for coffee. And the topper on the cake was I was able to find a four piece set of the plates as well. And I paid 50 cents a piece for these you guys and they are so pretty. So now I have a four piece set of these ones. So I have the coffee cups, the bowls, and the plates. And then I have a four piece set of the snowmen. And then we have an eight piece set of like the little teacup plates, like the little cake plates that are candy canes. So I think our Christmas collection is eclectic, but it fits well together. So I was so excited to find. So one of the things that I have been looking for forever to go with our Christmas dishes and with all of our holiday dishes, because we always make mashed potatoes and gravy. We make homemade potatoes and we always make gravy. And Matt's always saying, man, I wish we had a gravy boat. So check it out. It's got the little holly berry or holly berries on here and it's very Christmassy. It's the reds and the greens and the golds again. This looks a lot like the Christmas train tones so it'll all kind of blend together. So we got that one and I tried to keep like our serving sets 
the same tones, even if they weren't the same patterns. So I went with more of the china look when I was picking out pieces where it's got like the gold trim around there, a little bit more of the white porcelain or white china look, and then just the small detailing of the holiday details in there. So I thought this was a really great find. And then Thanksgiving, I had salt and pepper shakers that I was able to blend over from Halloween because they were pumpkins. And now for Christmas, look at that, aren't they beautiful? I found a salt and paper, paper? Salt and pepper set that's also the same tones, but these ones have the poinsettias on them. And I just thought those were so pretty. I paid a quarter a piece for these, you guys. And oh yeah, you can see it. I didn't realize the tag was still on there. So I'm gonna get all this stuff cleaned up and then we'll have a really nice holiday serving set. But the topper to this was, so I'm looking for, for some more plates this size, some holiday plates this size, but I found the matching piece to those salt and pepper shakers. So this is not a regular um, plate. This is actually a cake plate, but I can also put pies on here. And look, it came with the matching server. Isn't that cool? And this piece cost me at the thrift store $2.50 and it's porcelain. And I just thought that was such a pretty topping piece to our Christmas decor. All right, so the last part of our holiday decor is, I've mentioned many times before, I'm not a big fan of washing dishes and especially when we have a lot of people. So I always opt to go with paper plates. So this year's Christmas pattern, there wasn't a lot of selection out there this year, and I always go to the dollar store to buy them because they're much, much cheaper, but there wasn't a big selection of matching stuff, and I looked. I must have spent half an hour in the store. I actually ran several times between a couple of the dollar stores to see if I could find what I was looking for. And finally, on like a side end cap hidden, they had these ones. Now, I was hoping to find more like greens and reds to match what I had but I was pretty limited and I ended up finding just red and white, but it'll work and it'll match our decor enough. So I went with this pattern this year. So this is the tablecloth and I always just put a plastic tablecloth on the table because when we're done, I can just pick it up and throw it away. There's not a big cleanup, not a big mess and it makes the table look nice. And then of course I picked up the matching napkins and the matching plates. So. And then I did get some plastic, um, some plastic forks. I got those in red and green, but I had bought them ahead of time. So I'm just going to stick with the red and green. It's Christmassy. We'll have other green accents on the table and I think it'll go well together. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you tomorrow in a regular vlog.